Prophet Muhammad deviated from his cultural continuancy. His tribe, the Koresh, who came from out of Ethiopia. Jesus the Christ Christ, the same wait place. a second. So what you the Jesus Kushites. Existed. What is he saying? The Kushites were worshippers. Listen, listen, listen. The Kushites were worshippers of the goddess Het Haru. Het Haru in Yemen becomes the goddess Alak. So where was Jesus? Mother of the God. Where was Jesus? Indeed be joy, 
1,000 years before Muhammad, mm. there were inscriptions invoking Allah as God. Who are these invokers of Allah as God? Mm. The Lenyanite inscriptions were written by the Banu Lithyan, the Banu tribe of Lithyan. The tribe of Lithyan was a subgroup of a broader tribe called Houdet. What do we know about Houdet? The Encyclopedia of Islam tells us that skins were black and shiny. These were black worshippers of Allah. Your skin ain't black and shiny. Come on. <laughs> talking all this black talk and this anti-light skin talk. <laughs> These worshippers of Allah were 1,000 years before Muhammad were black worshippers of Allah. Who are they? These Lincolnites, these black worshippers of Allah, 1,000 years before Muhammad, were remnants of the original population of Arabia. Who was the original population of Arabia? Renaud Rashid tells us in his book, his book, African presence in early Asia, African presence in early Asia, the Arabian Peninsula was, like much of Asia, first populated by black people. Some of the surviving black populations, known as the Bedoids, are major portions of the micro population, still found in the extremities of Arabia. This is a black era. You doubted its existence. Here's a black era. Here's a black era. Makra era. These are the first worshippers in Allah, in Arabia, and on the planet. But let's go further. Arabian, those Arabians who founded the worship of Allah were Africans. For Arabia, we know, is but Northeast Africa. As, the, as Maurice Al-Kansi tells us in the annual review of anthropology, the Arabian Peninsula is the geological extinction of Africa. Typically, the peninsula is a part of Africa. Landscaped by the same geological and climate processes as the Eastern Sahara and the Ethiopian Highlands. In general, Africa is the continuation, I'm sorry, Arabia is the continuation of the African system across the Red Sea. That is one corner, one room in our global house. And what took place in Arabia? What well, black folks in Arabia contributed to the onward march of civilization, they are African contributions to the onward march of civilization. And one of the things that contributed to the onward march of civilization is Islam. Now because I detour to deal with some of that off topic mess that he put out there, some of my main argument I'm going to have to put to my rebuttal. There are temples. One of the contributions the Africans in Arabia made to the onward march of civilization is symmetry. I know you can't read the brother say that I translated for you. <laughs> one of the contributions, one of the contributions they made to the onward march of, civil, of civilization is Semitic culture in the Semitic language. We were the first speakers of Semitic, Semitism. The so-called proto-Semites were people who migrated from the heart of Africa into the Levant 9,000 years ago. Werner mm. Gamma, a German Orientalist, in his important book, Earth Semitic Religion, meaning proto-Semitic religion, he was able to, but on the basis of the epigraphic evidence, the hard data reconstruct the religion or aspects of the religion of the original proto-Semites, those first black speakers of Semitic language. Yes, and he tells us that the god of those ancient black Semites was a bilateral, bilateral term written with two letters, two Semitic letters. One, a glottal stop, making the sound ah. 
the second and dark end. It's a make this sound man. Yeah. Mm. See, by, literal, by literal pronunciation of the of the pronunciation of the by literal name of the god of the Semites was Allah. That's right. Mm. That's by literal Allah evolved orthographically into the quadriliteral Arabic Allah. Now what that means is that nine thousand years ago. <laughs> but I won't nitpick tonight. <laughs> you say I saw a lot, but let's see. I saw a lot. Let's see. Teach, Muhammad. J. Wayne Griffiths, in his study, The Origins of Osiris, in his cult. The earliest evidence for the cult of Osiris is still confined to the closing phases of the fifth dynasty. His name occurs in a pyramid text of witnesses Sakawa, and witnesses the last king of the fifth dynasty. His name also occurs in the private masterpieces of this dynasty, especially in the offering formula. In 1980, this book was written. He confirms at that time the earliest evidence we have for the worship for the existence of our son was in the 24th century. The pyramid text in some form, that was 1980. Has anything been found differently? Well, let's see. Well, John Amadza, Russian Egyptologist, in her book Osiris, Death and Afterlife of a God. The first representation of Osiris was found on the relief of King Jankara, is he, of the fifth dynasty. The first, the fifth dynasty. This is the earliest representation of a son in existence. This is the fragment. This is Osiris's body. We know this is him because his throne and the eye, which are the hieroglyphs for his name. 2400 BCE is when we have Osiris. If you can produce not your speculation, Give me a reference to our sound prior to this fragment. Our mm. law, on the other hand, carry right now. Our law, on the other hand, don't do that. We respect you. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Studies in third millennium Sumerian and Akkadian names. The Akkadians were black Semites who entered Mesopotamia and mixed with the Sumerians 4000 BCE. Though this literature we have of Akkadian are uh, Akkadian Sumerian personal names or lists of personal names. And in the list, in the text from the Bara period, 27 to 2600. BCE, two centuries before Osiris makes an appearance. Mm. Allah makes an appearance in, Akkadian, in the Akkadian text from 2600 BC. You have Iku, Iku Allah. Allah has proved true that in Allah, mercy, oh Allah. 200 years, two centuries. Prior to the first physical evidence of our song, you have physical evidence of Allah. Get it right. That's 